Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all things hearing related. Tinnitus comes in so many different varieties, with tonal tinnitus being one of the most common types of tinnitus out there. In this video, I'll run through the entire frequency range that the human ear can hear from, ranging from the lowest tone that we can detect at 20 hertz to the highest tone at 20,000 hertz. Listen along and see if you can match the pitch of your tinnitus. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that grey notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. So I want to start today by putting a little disclaimer right at the beginning of this video, stating that depending on your level of hearing, you may well hear the different tones at different volumes. So keep your finger on the volume knob as I wouldn't want you to have the volume set to a level which is too loud for any of the frequencies of sounds that you're about to hear today. Tinnitus is technically any noise that you perceive in your head which isn't being produced by something in the environment around you and that can mean different things to different people. If you've been on this channel before then you'll know that I personally suffer with a permanent tinnitus too and I have my own ways of coping with it. Mine is a high-pitched constant tone which sounds a little bit like this. It's there 24-7 and without question it's worst if I'm tired, stressed, unwell or in a quiet listening situation such as lying in bed at night time. Unlike what a lot of people think, there is actually a lot that can be done about tinnitus and I'll come on to that later on in this video. So, you'll now hear a frequency suite starting at 20 hertz and running all the way through to 20,000 hertz. It's probably worth using a decent set of headphones to get the most accurate frequency response possible and the quality of the headphones or speakers used will also have an impact on the sound. The initial low frequency sounds are particularly tough to hear so I recommend not turning up your headphones if you don't hear the sound straight away. Just hold fire and it should all become clear quite quickly. I am really keen on knowing which is the closest sound to your tinnitus. So 
drop me a note in the comments beneath this video. One final point that I do like to mention in all of my tinnitus videos is that there are also a few different types of tinnitus that do require immediate medical investigation. So if you experience either a pulsatile tinnitus or tinnitus that follows your heartbeat, tinnitus in a single ear and not the other, tinnitus that's changed in nature over a very short period of time, and then finally tinnitus that's stopping you from sleeping or even contributing to anxiety or depression, then it's best to head over to your doctor and they should refer you on for further medical investigation. Also, along the same note, if you develop a sudden sensory neural hearing loss, either with or without tinnitus, then again, you need to get yourself off to the emergency room or to an urgent care ENT clinic as soon as possible. That's really to investigate the cause of that hearing loss and for immediate treatment. Now, by the time that I have patients in clinic talking to me about their tinnitus, they've often hit a few brick walls and been told that there's nothing that can be done to help them to overcome their tinnitus, which, to be honest, is absolutely not the case whatsoever. And my aim was to keep this video short and to the point, but I do have three other videos which I think would be really valuable for you to watch today. This video covers the most effective ways of overcoming your tinnitus. This video covers which hearing aids have the best tinnitus features out there right now. And finally, this other video covers the most common types of tinnitus. I do hope that you found this video useful, guys. If you liked it, then press like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.